All right, so this little white box is uh, what contains the magic. Um, we have the, the data card from the GPS. That's what it looks like. Um, I do not know what format that is. Um, modern units use an SD card like you would have in your digital camera. Uh, it's a regular SD card. This is something much older. I think it's compact flash. Nah, whatever. Not not sure. Um, so yeah, this is uh, this is the, the the Garmin data card that contains uh, the nav data, um, and it's very important that you pull the right one from the plane because all uh, Garmin GPS units have to have two cards, and um, if you if you pull the wrong card and try to to flash um, the nav data on the card that is supposed to hold the the terrain data. Um, then you can mess this up. Um, so be sure you pull the, the correct card from from the plane. And um, and of course, no computer has a has a port for this uh, card format. So they give you a little USB dongle thingy that is just a USB A um, USB A plug, and you slide in the data card in the back. Um, I'm not exactly sure what they then do in Windows because when you plug that in, uh, you don't actually see a drive in Windows. So it's, I don't know um, by what means they access the file system on the card, but you cannot actually see um, a, a drive in, in Windows where you could look at the individual files. Um, so the software that, that you use on your computer to uh, run those data updates, it's it's, it's very similar to um, what you guys know from from the NaviGraph uh, FMS Data Manager or the um, Aerosoft NavData Pro. And the software here on, on Windows is called the um, called the Jeppesen Distribution Manager, and that um, amazingly enough is is available for both Windows and Mac. And um, yeah, that's that's basically what it what it looks like. So so just like with your with your NaviGraph data manager, uh, first you have to provide your your user account and password, and then um, the NaviGraph data manager would give you your add-on aircraft, right? That you can um, then update and explain. And and and, and the real thing is uh, <laughs> kind of similar in that it gives you it gives you the list of of, of aircraft. Um, that you have, that you have registered with Jeppesen and um, then offers you to, to download the data. So what we have is we have a, um, um, a 430 with WAS uh, in this plane. And um, yeah, today is uh, May 2nd. So this is obviously the, uh, the current cycle. So what I need to do is I need to plug this into the USB port of the computer. And of course, with USB, uh, try it twice, get it wrong every time. Ah, no, there you go. That went right in there. All right, and then once you've plugged that in, in Windows, you're going to see this, this uh, uh, drive that you cannot actually use as a drive, but uh, it'll tell you that you now have the, um, that one, the Jet drive Win USB device, which is apparently not an actual file system to Windows, so um, I don't know what kind of magic they are doing here. So now that we've plugged this in, I say uh, transfer to device, and uh, and this is interesting. Oh, I need a 16 megabyte card apparently with an orange label. Okay. And here's the next screw up. Uh, yeah, what happened is in our plane, we um, replaced our um, our old 430 with a new WAS 430. And that one needs a bigger database. And this one needs a whooping 16 megabyte uh, card. And apparently the one that I have here is does not have 16 megabytes of storage because I think that's a card that came from our old GPS. And our old GPS, of course, didn't have WAS. Um, so what I need to do here is I need to stop the video right here and tomorrow I need to drive out to the airport and pull the actual um, uh, 32 megabyte or, or 16 megabyte card 
uh, from the new GPS. I, I thought I could just flash it on the card on of the old GPS, which doesn't work. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick up the video tomorrow um, or day after tomorrow, go out to the airport and show you how to pull the actual card uh, from the GPS um, and then flash it on there. So yeah, that was not very successful right now, but it gives you an idea of um, how much easier all this nav data stuff is in, in X-Plane 11 um, than in the real world. Uh, because at least we don't have to deal with uh, incompatible data cards that have only 8 megabytes of storage or, or whatever the problem is. All right, I guess uh, see you in two days then.